back into the relative safety of the harbour, they uh, took them back to the breakwater because it was, it was a quicker journey, hoping that they could get ashore from there. Uh, unfortunately, as they were unloading the passengers onto the breakwater, the waves went through, <laughs> swept the people off, so they rocked into the water. Capsized the boat, and sadly, uh, five people were drowned. Mrs. Hooper, the lighthouse keeper's wife, and her two children <laughs> were drowned within sight and hearing of her home. Her husband states that he heard her call to him for help as he stood on the bridge of the lighthouse, but he was powerless to help. They were so they in Hobart doing some shopping, and they were coming back early um, with supplies to surprise the lighthouse keeper on the island. Uh, Certainly surprised him though I drowned but sadly about a kilometre from the front doorstep. So it was an extremely sad wreck. So you can imagine back in the days of the convicts trying to skip sailing ships through this uh, narrow gap with the tide and the wind and the, and the bad conditions. The sailing ships were hit from Hobart. They would have to hove to some days. Um, maybe two or three miles off the coast. The convicts were then tied and row out. They would uh, hook the whale boats and the long boats up to the sailing ships. They would sail in as, as close as they did and they would physically actually pull them through those gates with the, with the long boats and the convicts. And that's the way they got them through.